how do you flip that to your advantage? So, so meditation is really, really means to become familiar with, correct? So we're going to talk a little bit about meditation as we go forward here in a second. But if it is true that your body is your unconscious mind, which I didn't know that, and it is true that it does not know the difference between a real event or an imagined event, can't you really use that to your advantage, though? Of course. So, because okay, yeah, so let's yeah. talk about that. Okay. Because this is uh, because you do this really well. Because most people are waiting for their life to change. Yes. So they can feel gratitude, to feel abundance, to feel whole. You know, that's the old model of cause and effect, you know. So if you're living with emptiness, you're living with lack, you're living with pain, most people have been conditioned that something out there has to take away this emptiness or feeling inside of them. But if you believe that you're creating your life and you're living by lack, well, lack isn't going to create abundance, right? Mm. So. So then it makes sense then that you don't really actually create wealth. You generate wealth. You oh, generate wow. abundance. So the moment you start teaching your body emotionally what that future is going to feel like before it's made manifest, well, your body is the unconscious mind, believes it's living in that future in the present moment. Now, it's a scientific fact that it's the environment that signals the gene, okay? The end product from an experience in the environment is an emotion. So when you begin to embrace an elevated emotion, you're beginning to signal the gene ahead of the environment. What's the importance of that? Well, genes make proteins, and proteins are responsible for the structure and the function of your body. Hmm. And the expression of proteins is the expression of life. So by you creating an elevated emotion and teaching your body what that future will feel like before it's made manifest, your body's starting to live in that future reality in the present moment. Now, here's the key. If you were able to become familiar with gratitude, become familiar with wholeness, become familiar with abundance, to become familiar with freedom, and you're able to generate those chemicals every single day, more than likely you would be walking around feeling like your future has already happened, that you would no longer be looking for it to happen. You would already feel like it has happened. Now, what is the importance of that? Well, you're literally becoming somebody else. Yes. So you're leaving your lack, you're leaving your guilt, you're leaving your emptiness behind.